Hey guys and welcome to Nomadic Dmitry channel. So today we are located actually in Nevada in uh, one of the regional parks out here and I, it's very lovely here, very peaceful here. I just love it. It's a bit like noisy from the highway but I mean still it's fine. So what I wanted to talk about is Linux on Mac. I've actually made a few videos about installing Linux on your Mac machine and uh, running Linux on your Mac machine but the thing is that I wanted to point out it's not always a good idea to install Linux on your Mac and the reasons why are those so the first reason is the battery life so if you install Linux it's not gonna be optimized for your Mac and uh, for that reason the battery life is gonna be not great that's why I personally don't like running Linux on my Mac like full time. I much rather run Mac OS. Mac OS might be not going in the right direction in recent years, but I feel like still Mac OS is the is the only OS for Mac that's like really optimized for the hardware. And it makes sense. Another reason why you would not want to run Linux on your Mac is the keys. Because Mac OS is optimized for a specific set of keys, right? It's like option key, command key, and all those specific keys. And there's a bunch of other keys like on the upper side of the keyboard, right? So there's like a bunch of other keys. And all those keys are not really working on Linux. I mean, probably there's some way to configure to change those. I mean, it's not really optimized for Linux. It's, it's just for Mac. Probably Windows is also not the brightest idea to run on a Mac machine, but Windows at least is like, it's confirmed that it's it's supported by Apple officially. And this for this reason, it's at least some kind of support. Linux, no, not, 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 not the case. So this is the second reason. The third reason is that you need to install specific bootloader. I've actually made a video about installing a specific bootloader on your Mac and you might be fine with this bootloader. It actually allows you to run Linux just fine. The problem is that this bootloader can easily break. Every in installation of Mac OS might just wipe this and uh, well this is for this reason it's not really probably great but i mean it still works i still use it as i just reinstall it every time i do something to my mac os configuration so for this reason it's okay so it works yeah just be be aware of that another reason is that comparing to let's say mac os the icons in linux and the whole visual style of linux and applications and all that are not really like mac standard all those apps especially the older apps look really really bad on the retina this place there's some icons are not really optimized you will see things there and there it feels like an unpolished os for me but mac was really polished really made for your mac machine so for this reason i don't know it doesn't feel right to me another reason for not running linux on your mac is the fans what i found is like fans are like spinning really really hard on the linux and there are specific apps available to optimize the usage of the fans but i mean it's still like sometimes it's so so loud that i mean i don't know it doesn't like it doesn't feel optimized another reason is the file system right because linux uses different file system not apple fs is like ext2 ext3 so for this reason you will not be able to work with your partition out of the box sometimes you need to install specific drivers and it's typically a pain for like how to transfer data between those partitions you need to mount those somehow and i mean it's just not really great so in this sense it doesn't feel good you can create some additional partition like X xfat partition just to transfer data between linux and mac but i mean it's not always great solution but you can try it maybe it works out for you and I also think one of the most obvious reasons why you would not want to run Linux on your Mac. Well, Mac OS most likely has all the tools that you need, basically. It has all the command line tools you can easily install by using the package package managers. I actually have a video about package managers like Homebrew, for example, Fink, Mac ports. You can have all those package managers installed in your system and install easily all the necessary uh, apps that you want. So it's not a big deal. So you can all do all this. So for this reason, well, even X Windows system can run on your Mac natively basically so I think running Linux on your Mac is not a bad idea but the thing is that you can like pretty much have your Mac OS do all the same stuff that you uh, Linux installation does and if you really need Linux for specific use cases you can just always install it on a virtual machine 
Sometimes you feel like you want to have like native Linux experience and for this reason you might want to install it on your separate partition but I mean again it's not always a great idea. So what is the use case for the Linux on Macs then? Well in my opinion it really has great potential on older machines. Like older machines are not capable of running the latest versions of Mac OS so for this reason you might want to actually install Linux and it will be functioning just fine on your machine. So in this case yes Linux is a great choice. Another reason why you would not want to install uh, Linux on your Mac is a graphical drivers. Linux doesn't have great support for graphical drivers on your Mac. It's a known problem and you might have problems with this. And just saying overall the Linux feels like worse experience overall on your Mac machine. Well because it's just not really optimized for the Mac hardware. You just feel it like it's not optimized for Mac. Every time you run it you feel like uh, I wish I had some like ThinkPad machine or some other machine I can just like run Linux and it's gonna be great experience with the BIOS with normal bias, no normal bootloader, like ability to configure it just fine, not messing around with this different file systems because Linux has one file system, Mac has a Apple FS file system, and it just basically like messes stuff around. You can just use separate partition, for example, to move in stuff around be between alternative operating systems, but I mean, it just doesn't feel great. But my opinion is that Linux on Mac is not an ideal option. It's not an ideal option. And well, you can try it like I tried on a separate hard drive and it totally makes sense on a separate hard drive, but I'm not gonna mess around with my main uh, SSD hard drive because I mean, what's the point? Yeah, I just, it, I don't feel like it's a good idea to mess around with your main macOS installation and install Linux on somewhere around because macOS doesn't like alternative operating systems, like, even like time, time Machine, it only backups your Mac partitions, that's it, right? So it like, it doesn't really like all those cases. So here it is guys, it's my opinion and uh, if you guys agree, feel free to press like button, if you disagree, press the dislike button and if you want to like, discuss it, feel free to comment down below, maybe I'm missing some point, maybe I'm totally unaware of some point. It just my opinion and I might be completely wrong I might be completely right <laughs> so feel free to comment down below and just look at this view uh, I'm in Nevada right now camping at one of the regional parks and it's so beautiful here thank you guys if you like this video please also subscribe for more there'll be more videos and see you later